Hi everyone and welcome to NameHero.com. In today's video tutorial, I want to talk about how to enable two-factor authentication on both your Name Hero account as well as your cPanel account. And if you're a reseller or have your own VPS, I'm going to talk about enabling it on WebHost Manager. So for those unaware what two-factor authentication is, is basically when you log in to any one of those things, the Name Hero interface, cPanel, or Web Host Manager, that it's going to ask for your username and password, just like normal. And if you enter that successfully, it's then going to ask for a unique code that's stored on your smartphone. And that way it's an extra barrier of protection. And we're seeing websites and companies all across the globe add this because it, it enables the highest level of security because not only does someone have to guess your username, not only would they have to guess your password, but they would actually have to have physical access to your smartphone device in order to get onto your account. So I highly, highly recommend it. This has been done by banks and other really important financial logins for several, several years. Um, but now it's just starting to catch up across the internet for everything. And at Name Hero being a web host that we have data and tons of websites all across the globe, it's very important that we offer this to our customers and that you also enable it. Me personally, doing these videos on our YouTube channel, I cannot tell you how many people attempt to log in to my demo accounts. And that's why I've got two-factor authentication enabled on all of these. Now, obviously, I've got it disabled on some to this video, but um, I do it because that's the highest level of security and it keeps people out. You know, and I, I don't even know why people want to have access to my demo accounts because it's not like we're not going to see it and then shut them down immediately. But, you know, people do. There are evil people out there that want to carry out spam and other malicious activity, and if they can get access to your account, then they can carry that out. If you register your domains with us here at Name Hero, which we have thousands, hundreds of thousands of domains registered, um, you know, you could be putting your domains at risk. And if you're a domain investor, you know, you could potentially lose out on a lot of money. So it's very, very important that you do enable a two-factor authentication. So if you're following along, I'm going to show you how to first enable it on your Name Hero account. And then we're going to talk about cPanel. And then we're going to talk about our resellers. So regardless what kind of account you have with us at Name Hero, you should watch and follow along. So the first thing I want to do is log into my account. So I'm going to hover over account and click log in. And I'm brought to the login page here. So two-factor is already enabled on this demo account. So you'll see what happens. I click log in with my successful username and password. Now I can see two-factor authentication. Your second factor is required to complete login. So there is an app on my phone called Google Authenticator. So you can literally get on your phone, go to your app store, Google Play or, or the Apple App Store and type in Google Authenticator and it'll come up. It should be number one uh, and it's free. You just download it. And we're, I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do to configure this. So um, right now I'm going to get my smartphone out and I'm going to open up the Authenticator app. And on that app, I've got a note that shows my Name Hero account. Um, it shows my username as a descriptor and it gives me a six digit code. So I'm going to enter it in here. Now, notice I'm showing this because this code is automatically going to expire in a few seconds. It's going to be a new one. So it, it, that's how it's so secure is this code automatically expires, I think, every 30 seconds, maybe even sooner than that. And so once I type this in, it's going to check to make sure it's OK. And as you can see, I'm able to now log in to my account. So, you know, this is sometimes a pain in the butt. But if you look at what's, what's at risk, if someone gets into your account, then it quickly makes it not so much a pain in the butt. Um, you know, I highly, highly recommend it for every single Name Hero account, just so you know that you have access and that's it. If you want to add other people to your account, they can also set this up. At Name Hero, we allow multiple logins. So if you have a developer that you want to allow access to your Name Hero account or a business partner, then you can set up their own child login. Um, that way you don't have to share your cell phone with them to, when they need to log in. So in it, to enable this, I hover over my name and I go to security settings. And if it's disabled, there will be a green button that says click here to enable. Now, obviously, I've got it enabled. So it says it says red click here to disable. So this is where you add it. And you also have our single sign-on functionality. This allows us to be able to sign in to cPanel and other applications without having to re-authenticate. Um, you know, you may or may not want to disable this. If you have two-factor on, then just leave it on, right? Because there's no need. So um, that's how you do it. And if you hover over here, you can go to contacts or sub-accounts. 
And this is how you can add other users. So if you want to, you know, and you can give them access to certain things. Um, or, I mean, you can access them certain um, things in the account, such as um, you can figure a sub account with client area access, or you can, and you can give them email preferences, like general emails, product emails, and stuff like that. So that's up to you. But we have a lot of customers that choose to do that because they have web developers or business business partners that need access to the account. You know, it's never good to share a login with anyone. Um, you know, even your most trusted business partner, it's good they have their own login. So that way, when they log in, it, it shows all that activity. So if something happens, if there's a business shakeup, a partnership shakeup, you know, you're able to disable that one account and not have to go change every password because that's me personally, I've had to do that stuff in the past, and that really sucks. So it's just in security settings. That's where you enable it on your Name Hero account. You click to enable it, and then you'll have to scan the barcode on your Google Authenticator app. So I'm going to show you an example of that, but you just follow the instructions. It's super easy. So let's go to my services, and let's go to one of my demo cPanel accounts. So I'm going to click on my Basic Plus, HalloweenCostumeBlog.com, and I'm going to click here to log into cPanel. And I'm going to search for two-factor. So I'm just going to type in two and two-factor authentication. So you can see that it is disabled. So I have to click set it up. Now, all I need to do is scan this barcode on my Google Authenticator app. So right now I've got my phone in my hand. And I'm going to hit the plus icon at the top of the Google Authenticator app. Then click scan barcode. And then I'm going to go up to my computer screen and scan it. And then now at the bottom of my Authenticator app, I'm given a code and I can type it in here. Now, if you do not have a camera on your smartphone or a QR code reader, you can enter this information to authenticate it inside the app. So if you don't have a, a camera on your phone, you can still use this. I'm going to click configure. Now it's enabled on my account. So you'll need a, smart, a supported smartphone app. And so Google Authenticator is the one I highly recommend. Um, but you can see if you've got an Android you can also, or iOS, you can use Duo, Duo Mobile. And for Windows, you can just use Authenticator. So make sure you check out that page. Um, you know, I like Google Authenticator. I did not know it was not available for Windows Phone. Go figure. Um, but really, who uses a Windows Phone? I, I don't know many people, but I'm sure someone does. Um, I like Google Authenticator. I think it's the fastest and easiest, but um, there are some extra ones. Now, when you set up your two-factor, um, now if I go back to log in to the cPanel account, it's going to ask for my code, just like it did when I logged into my Name Hero account. Now I'm just going to go ahead and remove this um, from now, and I'm going to reconfigure it. So if I wanted to reconfigure at any time, I just go back here, scan the app, and then enter the two-factor code, and then it, it will reconfigure. So that's how you do it on a cPanel account. So next time I log into cPanel, username, password, two-factor code. Uh, pretty simple, but keeps people out of your cPanel that do not belong inside of there. So let's talk about Web Host Manager now for our resellers out there. I'm going to go back to my main hosting page. Um, my Corporate Hero Package is for Reseller Hosting US. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to go into Web Host Manager by under Actions, log into WHM. Same as cPanel. I'm going to look for two-factor, two-factor authentication. I'm going to click it. And you can see it's enabled on the server. And if any of my child resellers, so any of your customers, if they have it enabled, it's going to show up in here. It'll show the user, the primary domain, and then you can actually remove it for them. So if they get locked out, you can help them out there. Now, if I go to manage my account, you can see it's not configured. Set up two-factor. Once again, I scan this, and then it will be set up for my main reseller account. Enter the security code just like I, I showed before. So then next time I get into Web Host Manager, it's going to ask username, password, two-factor. So this is very important for the security and integrity of your accounts. You know, this it's just that it's how I go to sleep easily at night. Years ago, I had a company that had an ad server. The ad server required username and password to log in. One of the users to the ad server, one of the admins, had the password was very weak. There is dictionary-based attacks out there nowadays, folks. So, for example, evildoers have software that will hit login pages with random usernames and random passwords, and they'll use a dictionary to combine every uppercase, lowercase, letter, number, and even now special characters until it finds the one that works. And so while we have stuff on the server to prevent such attacks, it's still not 100%. You know, if they've got a, a 
a multiple IP addresses, if they got multiple locations, if some reason it fails, the two factor is a sure way because even if they do guess your username and password, it's going to stop them because they actually will need your smartphone to get that two factor authentication code. And you know, this is the same when I go log in on my bank. You know, I don't really have to worry about my username and password at my bank being compromised because I know no one's going to get into it without my phone. I also have text alerts set up, meaning that even after I get in to do anything, send money, transfer stuff, I have to receive a text message and verify another PIN. So two-factor, it's on all Name Hero servers, on all reseller accounts, on all the child reseller accounts, it's on all web hosting accounts. So regardless of the account you have with us, two-factor authentication is there and it should be enabled because that's gonna just keep everything safe and secure. And if you're a reseller, you should pass this along to your customers. Let them know, let them know in their welcome email. It's a great idea to enable two-factor authentication. If you're using WHMCS for your hosting business, for your resellers, that's also built into that. We require all of our team members to use two-factor authentication. It's just a way to keep everything safe, secure, and the data in the right hands of the right person and the access. So make sure you're doing this. If you haven't already, you know, please put it on your Name Hero account as well. It's just right there in security settings. It's you know, it, it takes what two minutes, one minute to set it up. So super easy. And um, also, when you add the Name Hero, it'll give you a backup code, so you can save that backup code just in case. But never store that on a computer. Write that backup code down on your um, on your notepad, put it by your desk, put it in your drawer. Uh, me personally, I put it in my safe. So that way if I ever do lose my smartphone or get my smartphone busted, I can go in my safe, get my backup codes and be back in business. If you need any help with this, submit a ticket, reach out to our team, give us a call or hit us up on live chat. We'd be more than willing to enable it for you or to help you walk you through the process of enabling it. Um, you can never be too careful nowadays. Something Security is something we take very serious here at Name Hero. So that said, we thank you all for using our services and helping Name Hero grow to be one of the fastest growing web hosts in the world. It's certainly our pleasure serving you and your business.